Flavors of Youth. It's a Netflix original animated movie anthology which tells three separate stories about three different people and their experiences growing older and their memories from the past of when they were young. So like I said, this is an anthology movie and there's three segments. Uh, one is a very short one, the other two are fairly long, I guess, compared to the first one. The first one's only about 16 minutes long, I want to say. And the other two are a little over 20 minutes, I don't know exactly. So, uh, the first segment tells a story of a boy who has this connection to rice noodles. And it brings us back to when he was young. Every time he thinks about rice noodles, it reminds me of his or him of his happiness of when he was a young kid so he remembers eating rice noodles with his grandma every morning or eating rice noodles at a certain restaurant waiting for his crush to go by so he could just see her every morning and stuff like that and then it goes to him being an adult and kind of have this losing that happiness essentially he is no longer this happy young child he kind of sees the world as a darker, more bleak kind of place. And he kind of misses the old days when he was this happy-go-lucky person just loving his egg noodles. Because um, the egg noodle, or the rice noodles he eats now, the, the ramen type soup, uh, isn't the same. He's like, there's less toppings, there's less flavor, it's mechanical. And it's kind of a metaphor of how he grows up, how originally he ate these amazing rice noodles and he, as he got older, things just weren't as good as they were before. So that's the first story. Uh, I thought it was very enjoyable. Uh, I love how they animate this segment. It's all animated the same, but this one has a lot of food in it. Uh, they show them preparing the noodles and everything, and the, the soup essentially. And it looks very, very delicious. I absolutely loved it. So the second segment is about a, a lady who is a fashion model. and. She is a very popular one, but she's getting older in age. And throughout the short, uh, a new upcoming motto starts taking her spot or people start giving her more attention than this older motto. So for her story, it's kind of accepting that she is getting older, but not to give up because of it. You know, when she was young, she was a lot or accepted a lot more. Things were easier. But now that she's getting older, she has to fight a little bit more and not easily give up so this segment uh was okay i don't think it's my favorite out of the three it's probably my third least favorite i mean there's a three it's an interesting story uh it tells the story again of someone who's getting older and they're not the the young gun you know the new generation coming in and kind of replacing them and then having to compete with the younger person who you know might look better or is better suited for a job or whatever so that's kind of the, the moral of that story, I guess, essentially, that, you know, as you get older, you're not always going to be on top because there's going to be you are younger and brighter and probably more energetic people. And you have to learn how to compete with that uh, and not to give up. So, like I said, it was an okay story. Um, I didn't like it as much as the first one. And the third one is honestly my favorite one. So this one tells the story of a boy or a man and he's kind of bitter and we kind of don't know why he's bitter uh he just in the beginning of it we just kind of see he's moving into a new apartment and he is kind of this bitter person and as the story goes on we we learn um or he finds this cassette tape that connects him to his past and we learn that when he was young him and two of his friends uh, a girl and his friend or his friend who's uh, this guy who's still he's still friends with uh they used to listen to music on a cassette player and then uh, him and the girl used to record messages and send it to each other and they would listen to these cassettes back and forth. Now, he had a crush on this girl and he wasn't sure if the girl had a crush on him. And as they got older, he found out that she was going to go to a different high school and a different uh, city. So he decides to buckle down because he loves her so much that he's like, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm not good at studying, I'm not good at learning, but I'm going to work hard to get in the same school as her. So he works hard and he gets to his school, but he he ends up finding out that she didn't make him to that school. So he kind of becomes like this bitter person because he really loved this girl and he worked hard for her. But they they became separated and they became distant and he 
always wondered what if, you know, what if I would have stayed there? What if she actually would have made it to her school? And this kind of drove him in life because he chose this path to be with her, but she was no longer on that path. So it just kind of made him this bitter person who was kind of upset of what if, what, what if I had gotten with her or what if, you know, so it's a very interesting story. This is what, the one I like the most. It's very fun. It's very entertaining. It's it's right up my alley. A, a nice romantic story of two people who are you know crushing on each other or in love. You know, you you'll see. So that was my favorite out of all of them. This movie is like I said, each has kind of a little moral of uh, what it means to be getting older and looking into the past. Like I said, in the first one, it was seeing how, or believing, or seeing the past in this nostalgia-fueled way. Like, oh, the past, it, it was a lot better, it was a lot brighter, everything tasted better, we had better things, kind of thing. But, as the, you know, each story ends with the character kind of learning that, you know, things aren't so bad, or I just have to work harder, or, you know, they were that way back then when I was little, but it doesn't mean... You know, now that I'm older, life is just bad. I just have to work harder kind of thing. So each segment does end somewhat with a happy ending or a good ending, I guess you could say. It doesn't just end with, like, you know, bitter note, like, oh, psh, being an adult is horrible <laughs> kind of thing. But it is good. Like I said, it's overall great shorts. Uh, there is an after credit scene, so stay after the credits. It adds a little bit more to the story, to the moral, I guess, of what they're trying to say in this anthology. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't said any of the characters' names. It's hard for me to remember. They're all in Chinese. This is a Chinese-Japanese collaboration. So it was directed by three Chinese people. Uh, I, I, I want to say they wrote the stories as well. I, I, I looked online, but I couldn't find if they did. I, it might be out there. I didn't look that hard, and honestly, <laughs> I just went to Wikipedia. Um, but it was produced by uh, Japanese people, so... It, uh, all their names are Chinese, which is just something I have a hard time remembering. I, I'm used to Japanese names and all kinds of other names, but not so much Chinese. Like, uh, one of the names, uh, I, I can't remember, it sounded like they called him, uh, they were making fun of him, but it was actually his name, and I was just like, ooh, I thought they were just mocking him, <laughs> kind of thing, so I apologize for that. Um, but like I said, it is a good anthology short movie, uh, it's, uh, very short movie, it's an hour and 12 minutes, 14 minutes, or something like that. Like I said, the first segment is only like 16 minutes. The other ones are a little over 20 minutes. I didn't time those ones. But they're good. I, I do recommend them. The animation looks fantastic. It's gorgeous. Like I said, in the first one with the food, the food looks delicious. It made me very, very hungry and I wanted to eat. And the other segments were well animated. They're very calm, peaceful, so there's not a lot of action. So... Uh, they can use a lot of the budget to make it look good, and at least that's what I assume. So I give this movie overall with all the combined stories an eight out of ten. I think together they come uh, together and make a good movie to all have a connecting kind of theme about youth and being an adult and everything like that. Very interesting, very entertaining for the most part. Uh, I do recommend it. Like I said, an eight out of ten. Um, it's on Netflix right now. It's a Netflix original. So if you have Netflix, you can go out and watch it. I recommend you go watch it if you're, you know, an animation fan or if you like uh, kind of stories with morals that are very interesting. I guess I would say go go watch it. It's very interesting. You can get a, a lot out of it by dissecting it and just really, really thinking about it. At least that was my opinion from watching the movie. So if you watch the movie, what do you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.